Welcome to This Week in Space, where we'll break down the latest space news that matters to you most. For this week's episode, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has set a new record by finding the most distant galaxy ever observed. Boeing's Starliner had a bit of a rough time docking at the International Space Station, but it's still got two NASA astronauts there. Now, while hanging out outside the International Space Station, it sprung more leaks. Classic Boeing quality control, right? And Japan's Akatsuki spacecraft, the only active probe orbiting Venus, has lost communication with Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency. How will they restore contact and what is the potential impact on Venus's exploration? Let's find out more. Have you ever wondered what the universe looked like just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang? We are getting a glimpse thanks to NASA's incredible James Webb Space Telescope. The Webb Telescope has been capturing the light from a record-breaking galaxy, Jade's GS Z14-0. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has been peering back in time. Using its near-infrared camera instrument for the James Webb Space Telescope Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey Program, it has captured an image of the galaxy Jade's GS Z14-0. This galaxy holds the record for the most distant observation from less than 300 million years post-Big Bang. James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared spectrograph instrument, measuring a redshift of 14.32, confirms its incredible distance. This discovery is rewriting our understanding of the early universe and galaxy formation. Jade's GS Z14-0 is a highly luminous galaxy with a radius of 260 parsecs or 848 light years. The galaxy's brightness implies that it is several hundreds of millions of times the mass of the sun. The presence of oxygen in the galaxy's light is a surprise, suggesting that multiple generations of massive stars had already lived and died before the galaxy was observed. The data reveal other important aspects of this astonishing galaxy. We see that the color of the galaxy is not as blue as it could be, indicating that some of the light is reddened by dust, even at these very early times, stated by Jade's researcher Jake Helton of Stewart Observatory. If this piqued your interest, check out our channel to learn more about the jaw-dropping discoveries NASA didn't see coming with the James Webb Telescope and the unraveling of the Methuselah star and how its discovery might also mean rewriting history as it dates back before the Big Bang. We also have an upcoming video about the farthest star, Arendelle, which JWST discovered. On June 10th, NASA revealed that engineers were evaluating the impact of five helium leaks on the mission's remainder. These leaks occurred even though Boeing and NASA managed a leak before the launch. Helium, used in the thruster system, prevents combustion and toxicity and will still be sufficient for the return trip, even with increased leakage. However, the leaks pointed towards a potentially more significant issue with Starliner's propulsion system. Beyond the leaks, Starliner also experienced technical difficulties during docking with the International Space Station. The capsule missed its initial docking window due to five thruster failures with only four recovering functionality. Eventually, a successful docking occurred on June 6th. Further complicating matters, a recent update from NASA revealed an improperly closed valve regulating oxidizer flow within the capsule's thrusters. This valve is crucial for proper fuel burning. Mission managers are evaluating flight plans, potential fault tolerances, and mitigation strategies for the return trip. For an in-depth understanding, please view our video detailing its $4.3 billion failure while the mission successfully delivered its crew, Starliner may necessitate repairs before receiving approval for routine operations. Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, or JAXA, lost contact with its Akatsuki spacecraft in late April 2024. The issue was likely due to a thruster malfunction and complications with the spacecraft's attitude control, which prevented Akatsuki from reorienting towards Earth. Launched on May 21, 2010, Akatsuki, the $200 million Venus Climate Orbiter, initially faced a major setback when its main engine failed, preventing it from entering Venus's orbit. However, the team successfully guided it into orbit in 2015. Since then, Akatsuki has been conducting scientific research, yielding intriguing discoveries about Venus climate. The spacecraft surpassed its primary mission and entered an extended operations phase in 2018. However, on May 29, 2024, 
Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency's Akatsuki mission revealed that it had lost contact with the spacecraft after an April operation due to low attitude stability. The team attempted various recovery measures to restore communication with Akatsuki, but failed. The potential loss of Akatsuki held significance for several reasons. First, it would mark the end of a remarkable mission that overcame a significant setback a decade ago to enter Venus's orbit. Second, although the European Space Agency's Venus Express spacecraft remained in orbit, it was no longer operational. Therefore, the loss of Akatsuki would significantly reduce humanity's ability to observe and study Venus actively. Venus, Earth's sister planet, has garnered renewed interest due to unanswered questions about its strong greenhouse effect and potential biomarkers in its atmosphere. Despite the uncertainty around Akatsuki, exciting new missions to Venus are being prepared. One standout is NASA's Veritas Orbiter, which aims to uncover the planet's secrets from surface to core and reveal how Venus and Earth took different paths in their evolution. For more detailed information on Venus, please view our video featuring new photos from Venus and NASA's latest findings. Thank you for tuning in to This Week in Space. What do you find most interesting in this episode? What recent space discovery got you excited? Is there a specific topic or update you want us to delve deeper into? Share your thoughts in the comments below. The This Week in Space segment provides the latest space updates relevant to you and includes glimpses of future deep dive videos for our channel. So make sure to like this video and then subscribe to our channel. Also, make sure to hit the notification bell to receive more exciting content about science and space. Thank you for joining us and we hope to see you on our next journey.